In every form of entertainment, whether it be music, art, theater, even video games, there are examples of medium-defining masterpieces that not only set the bar for their particular class of entertainment, but evolve into something more than just pictures on a screen, paint on a canvas, or hitting piano keys. The Mona Lisa, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, and The Godfather are such examples. They not only define their particular medium of art, but somehow are able to cross a barrier and delve deeper into our psyche where our emotional, spiritual, and even our physical being is changed forever. Goat Simulator is the Mona Lisa of this video game generation. It is an enigma of a game, a clunky, flawed, irredeemable pile of excrement, yet full of sophistication and class, a beauty that is difficult to describe and can only be understood by playing it at least 40 hours. Let me be clear, Goat Simulator is a boring slog of a game for the last 39 and a half hours, but if you can hold out that long, stick with it, you will be privy to a conclusion to a masterpiece of a game designed by a genuine renaissance man of the 21st century, the Da Vinci of our time. 40 hours is a long time. It is a normal work week here in the US and you will be devoting all of this time to fully understand the inner workings of a goat while simulating their movements. Walking, running, jumping, even licking are some of the movements you will be simulating while taking control of the main protagonist, the goat. There is a ton of walking in Goat Simulator, a ton, and you will be stumbling down cliffs, falling through objects, and tripping over small stones as you make your way around the poorly designed, simple looking, yet utterly beautiful and captivating environment. When the brilliant lead game designer announced this game many years ago, players were left wondering, scratching their heads, what Goat Simulator would be all about. We waited in anticipation for the first glimpse of the supreme game designer's vision, and while small bits of Goat Simulator were given to us, we were left wondering what it was all about. After 40 hours of gameplay, I can honestly say that this was the most dreadful, yet delightful, boring yet exhilarating, brain dead yet moving experience of my life. Yet I still have no idea what the hell Goat Simulator is all about, or what the hell I just played. I can't help but wonder if this is what the super talented and weird lead game designer had in mind all along. To deliver a game that is utterly bonkers, a broken mess, with frame rate clipping, audio and graphical issues, but somehow teaches us something about our lives. To teach us through his game how to become better humans, that we need to work together to survive and strive, and stop licking butts all the time. To learn what is wrong with America and how to fix it, and how life's obstacles can teach us everlasting lessons that will guide us through our hardships, our trial periods in our lives. And without these hardships, the good will never shine as bright. I have given up a good chunk of time of my life playing Goat Simulator. Time that could have been spent with my wife and kids, enjoying the real world, breathing in fresh air, and listening to the sound of chirping birds and leaves rustling in the wind. But I wouldn't have traded any of my time with Goat Simulator for these things. I have learned life's greatest lessons through struggling through the train wreck that is Goat Simulator. I didn't enjoy any of it, yet I can't stop thinking about it. Is this what the genius game designer had in mind all along? Did he foresee that this game would impact humanity in such a resounding way? I think so. Goat Simulator is simply a game that shouldn't be missed, yet shouldn't be played by anyone. It is the defining game of this generation, if not of all time. What it defines, I have no idea but I am left contemplating so many things in my life and now look at those things through a new, clearer lens. I was lost, but I never knew it till I completed Goat Simulator. <laughs>